What does the Bible say about abortion? I don't care. Life is sacred. We protect life. We believe life is sacred. Satan is the one who came up with the idea of abortion. God created life in his image. Life begins at conception. I always thought that a baby that was inside of you was just a clump of cells and just an embryo. So who is an embryo to dictate my life? When a man's sperm is planted in the womb of his wife, she becomes pregnant. The moment you are conceived, you're a living soul made in the image of Almighty God. I don't care what the Bible says. You have every right in the world, all those women who identify with your religion have every right in the world to not get an abortion, to not take birth control, but they do not have the right to dictate my life. Daddy, chill. And what I decide to do with my body, I don't care about your goddamn religion. I'll be praying for you. You can't tell a woman what to do with her body. No, a man can't, but God can. This is not a moral conversation about abortion. Are you serious? Right. This is a practical conversation about women's rights, and by the way, human rights, because women's rights are human rights. And the freedom that we all need to be able to, to choose and build our lives and have access to excellent health care. You mean a woman's right to choose to hire a doctor to assassinate her unborn child in the womb? That's what they're saying. If you listen, if you look behind the words, that's what they're communicating. The way we talk about the life of an adult, we talk about the human rights of the, of the, of the adult. In the same way, we should also be concerned about the human rights of your born. Safe abortion is a public health concern in Nigeria. If you listen to the media and television and the philosophies of the world, um, they're on one side of the coin. But my job as your pastor is to tell you what God's heart is about. The Bible never specifically addresses the issue of abortion. However, there are numerous teachings in scripture that make it abundantly clear what God's view of abortion is. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Isn't that a beautiful passage? It, it's saying that not only is God aware of that little one uh, that has been conceived, but he has a plan for them. He already has a plan in store. Uh, and over in Jeremiah 1.5, Jeremiah says, uh, I knew you before, excuse me, the Lord says to Jeremiah, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my spokesman to the world. Notice the Lord says, I formed you in your mother's womb. And some would say, well, you know, it's not really a, a human being until it's born. And, and we'll have this other verbiage that we'll use that maybe makes people more comfortable with terminating the life of an unborn child. We'll call it a fetus, an embryo, a glob of cells, even uterine contents, products of, content, of conception. Or here's one of my favorite, potential human beings. Or what else would it be? Uh, is, uh, could it be a horse maybe? No. A potential, it is a human being made in the image of God. More than a potential human being, it's a human being with incredible potential. You can never have a safe termination of pregnancy. You can never have a safe abortion because abortion kills a human being in the womb. So to call it safe, it's not, it's completely wrong to, I mean, to, to do that. Every abortion takes the life of a human being and also, Every abortion, a woman that goes through abortion encounters all psychological trauma afterwards and so on and so forth. Iniquity is a situation where people decide to use their will against the will of God. There is no wizard that doesn't know that killing someone using his blood is, is wickedness, is darkness. There's no witch that doesn't know. Sin is progressive. It's never satisfied. The more you get involved in sin, the more sin you want to do. For the Christian, abortion is not a matter of a woman's right to choose to have a baby. The baby is already present and living. Abortion is a matter of the life or death of a human being made in God's image. Life is sacred. If by any means you make a mistake and you take in, don't commit any abortion. Go and give birth to that child. God will help us. Make good. that child will be raised. Let the mistakes the parents made not affect Life is sacred. 
I was leaving my apartment and I get a banging on the door and it was my drug dealer's girlfriend. She says that she needs to talk to me and we go to the bathroom of my apartment and she pulls out a bag with a file in it. She had just printed off some papers and I could see that it said the state of Texas versus this doctor. And the more that I read, I saw that a young girl, 15 years old, had died on the table having an abortion. And then I recognized the name of the doctor. It was actually the doctor that I was going to see to have an abortion. At that moment, this young woman grabs my shirt and she says to me, Christina, I know that you don't believe in God but my God will provide for this baby. I'm asking you not to kill this child. Well, at that stage in my life, I didn't even know that the child that was living inside of me was a child. I always thought that a baby that was inside of you was just a clump of cells and just an embryo. So who is an embryo to dictate my life? But at that moment, looking back on it now, it was God's intervention in my life. I collapsed on the floor and she said that God would provide for the baby that was living inside of me. And she pleaded with me to not kill this baby. I ended up keeping that child and I named him Evan. His name actually means God has given grace. God has shown favor. But I didn't find that out until many years later. What does the Bible say about abortion? Simply put, abortion is murder. It is the killing of a human being created in the image of God. We need to be the literal hands and feet of Jesus and we need to be telling these women that when they have this unplanned pregnancy, that our arms are still open, that, that they can come to us because there is grace and there's forgiveness and there's mercy through what Christ has done for us on the cross. We serve a God that will forgive you no matter what you did. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more biblical lessons and insights.